Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and just a quick news update on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. About 24 hours ago, the new JP data the download came available. It was actually 4 o'clock, or 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern time for me, when I saw that it was available to update. Uh, a whole bunch of updates came out. I'm currently on the Reddit. Uh, Zahal just posted up, well, posted up 21 hours ago, all the information about the update. Apologize for not getting this out to you about the earlier this morning when I did my global overview of all the updates that had come out. Um, I just completely forgot about it. I was all excited for the boss rush and the new speed rush and all that other stuff. Um, so I'll be going over all that in a different video. I already did the overview of it. I'll be doing more gameplay on that later. I'm not going to be doing the boss rush tonight. I'm exhausted. I need to go to bed. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the new stuff that's come out. Number one, we have new login bonuses. And in the news section, we have a new login bonus screen. Instead of just giving you uh, a picture of all the items in one little like calendar view, now it's actually laid out in a more realistic view where you could actually see what items are coming on what dates. It tells you what items are going to be available per first login, and then it separates them per day, and it actually kind of dims out the days that have already passed, so that way you know what you're not going to get and what the next day is going to be. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff um, changing and transitioning in the background right now as I've been talking about this. So that's just worth noting. We are The current login days are from... June 26th, which is technically yesterday, and then up until July 26th, so we have a whole month for worth of login bonuses, which is awesome. Uh, the next one is team cost per rank has been increased. Good to know. I actually logged in when I first read this post from Zahal. Uh, by the way, thank you Zahal and Reddit for <laughs> getting this information for us, for data mining it, and translations. So, um, the team cost has been increased, so I actually went, the first time that I saw this, I jumped onto my phone, I opened up the app after I updated it, and I went straight for my Heroes team to see if they could fit both Super Saiyan 4s on there. Unfortunately, I still can't run a full, full Dokken Awakened Heroes team, but, um, or at least with the Super Saiyan 4s I can't, but I can now run a full oh, Dokken Awakened Heroes team in general, which is great. I wasn't able to do that before, um, now I can, so now I can actually probably take on Boss Rush. Uh, actually, I should be able to take on Boss Rush with my uh, Villains team. They're not that great, but I do have all the top tier units. They just have no dupe system really. In. Anyway, um, that's for something else. That's for a different video at a different time. <laughs> um, so starting 6.30 on June 30th, the orb drop rates will be increased for the potential system. Keep that in mind. So starting June 30th, you'll be able to grind out more orbs. Um, assuming as we have so many characters coming out, so many different teams, so many very variety of teams that you could run. They're probably going to make that. Plus, I kind of think that Global gets more per drop anyway. Even though JP, you could run it three times, I think that Global is getting more drops overall in that run. But anyway, that's just my thought on it. It might not be. I don't actually have the numbers to prove it. Uh, number four. Uh, well, we're going to be going over the new missions a little, in a little bit. If you guys haven't noticed, there is a new super tier in the, the missions area, but I'm going to go over that a little bit later, just because that's gonna, it's going to be more information. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the training system real quick. The training system has been updated. You'll see a card pop up over here to that video if you didn't see me, my overview of the new training system. Uh, training items are now sorted by type. When you go to select the training item you want to use for a card, it automatically defaults to the, the actual type that you the card is, the attribute type that the card is, so that way you can select just that specific type. Holy crap, that's awesome. Um, when training when training units will give, be given a super attack increase are now automatically sorted in a different section So what that means is you'll probably see up on the screen right now When you choose the Super Saiyan Goku and there's another Super Saiyan Goku that you can actually you know use for training It will pop up on the top on top of your Elder Kai's if you have Elder Kai's available to increase the super attacks This is freaking great. You no longer have to search for the character that you want to try and increase the super attack up there Just right there on the top of the screen that, it's just awesome. I've been you know, that that's been a thing that they've needed to do. I'm so happy that they updated the, the training system. Um, you also no longer need a unit to train with. I really hope this comes out to global soon, man. I'm telling you, um, I hate having to go and summon for freaking normals and rares in order to try and just train a unit up. It's just a pain in the butt. So you no longer need to do that. You can just use straight items. It makes sense because you know a lot of people do train on their own. Um, and you can use up to 10 of a single item per slot, and you can choose up to 5 different slots. So you could use a total of 50 items. Um, they have to be different though, it can't be the same item. But let's say like you have the candy canes, and let's say you have the, the good turtle shells, and then the Z swords. You could actually take full advantage of it, and you could use as many as you have if you need to. Um, so that's cool. Uh, that actually makes it a lot easier, especially when you're using the... Uh, gravity, the, the, the gravity chamber, the hyperbolic time chamber, anything like that. It's a lot easier on that because you could actually utilize it. Uh, 
you know, more items with less of those chambers. It also makes the, the leveling of an LR a lot easier too, because you don't have to grind out like all those friends from the friend summons and all the items to you. Well, still items, but you don't have to use the hyperbolic time chamber for it all. Anyway, uh, enough about that. I'm rambling. Uh, upcoming events, the Saiyan Saga event and Broly uh, Second Coming, the Broly Second Coming event is returning. It looks like the Saiyan Saga event will have two new stages added and it starts on on June 30th in three days. Um, the Treasure Shop, the Baba Treasure Shop, which you will now see, has had um, a user interface update, a UI update. Uh, each tr Under the Treasure section specifically, you can now actually choose between the Baba Treasures, the Incredible Gems from... Uh, what is that, the um, Battlefield, Dokkan Battlefield, the new item that's out, which I'm going to go over in a second, um, and I'm assuming when the GT events come out with the two different medals, and if we get any more of, like, the uh, anniversary medals or anything like that that come out, each one's going to have its own section, so that way you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll to the damn treasure section. Man, again, I really hope that this comes to Global soon. Unfortunately, the way it's looking, it's not going to be available for two-year anniversary, so whatever, what can you do, right? But... Uh, now, what you've all been waiting for, patiently, I assume, <laughs> is the new Baba stuff that's coming out. First off, there are new missions and the items that go along with it. So, underneath the missions tab, if you go there, you're going to see the Supreme Kai. It's a big bar on the bottom. Now, that might change in the future. You never know. We might get a beers tier for, like, Super 2 items. But um, there are a whole, whole, whole bunch of good information here that I'm super stoked about. Um, let's go here. First off, the item, trans the translation from Japan is God Wang Shi. I don't know what the heck that is. It's a treasure that can be acquired from the trial of the Supreme Kai. Um, so, essentially, the first three stages of the quest have had a whole bunch of uh, stuff added to it. So that way you did additional mission rewards. Each of these mission rewards gives you a gem. This gem-looking thing kind of reminds me of the tip of Whis's staff. Um, I don't know if that's what it's from or something else. Maybe something from Oracle Fish. I don't know. But it reminds me of Weiss's staff a little bit. Not, not exactly, because it's purple and Weiss's staff is more of an aqua blue. But whatever. Anyway, so each one has its own thing. Uh, I'll just go over, like, stage 1-1 one, one on Z-Hard, for instance. Clear without using a stone to continue. By the way, um, for these translations, thank you for Colossus and Z. Um, I'll leave a link to this Reddit post on top of Zahal's Reddit post as well. Just so you can go to, to them directly if you want to down in the description below. Um, on 1-1, one, one, clear without using a stone to continue. You get one gem. 1-1, uh, one, one, you also get clear without using an item, and 1-1 one, one, clear with a team of 6 characters that are SSR or below. I don't know if that means specifically like a rarity of SSR, or if it means the base is an SSR. Don't know yet. Um, I haven't done it. I don't know. Uh, you Let me know in the comments below if you do know. I can at least add it to the description or pin the post for you. And for everyone else. And each stage has its own thing. So on 1-1 one, one, Z hard, you you do each of those and it's it, so from going through it's only on the z hard which you know that actually makes it a little bit nicer i wouldn't want to grind out every single level of every state but um so let's go again on one two for the the three items is clear is without using a stone to continue clear without using an item clear using a team of six characters or more or with that, or that are ssr or below now there are also other things like on one three clear a team that is 70 cost or below uh, including your friend so that's good to know so when you get some gems from doing that uh Let's see, uh, going jumping to area two. Uh, two, one, clear without using a stone, but blah, blah, blah. clear with Hercule on the team for two. One is one of them. You get three gems with that. On two, two, again, clear with Hercule on the team. Uh, 70 below. So the first area, I mean, obviously it is specific to the Z hard. You need to know which one to go for. It's all translated, so yeah, you'll probably have to use this in order to know what you do, what, what, to, what teams to bring, unless you can read Japanese, which, hey, you know what? Good for you. I wish I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, each one has its own individual thing, which forces you to use specific skills. Um, like for one is on 3-4 Z-Hard, clear a team that has three or more characters, Turtle School Link. So make sure you have three characters that have the, the Link skill, Turtle School. So it's forcing you to use the characters you typically would never use, because you would never really have a reason to use them. Uh, but yeah, that's actually, I think that's everything that I wanted to go over over here. Oh, those orbs, I'll just tell you right now, uh, those orbs you can you use to purchase things like you purchase Elder Kai's 30 orbs get you an Elder Kai, 50 orbs get you an Elder Kai. You can purchase character slots, you can purchase uh, stamina up and individual team cost up. So that's pretty cool that you get all that. Um, but yeah guys, that's it. That's the JP update. It's a pretty big update. It's actually something that is making a lot of our lives a hell of a lot easier. 
really can't wait for this to come to global. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Hit that sub button if you're new here. Thank you for joining me here today, guys. I will catch you in the comments below, and you will have a good night.